Hello, this is Eugene Peterson for Noble Desktop. In this, the second of three tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use the Adobe Illustrator Graph Tool, focusing on tips and gotchas. Adobe Illustrator Graph Tool, tips and gotchas. Introduction. Big data has generated a need to communicate complex topics in a simple and clear manner. In the words of Adobe, a picture is worth a million data points. To that purpose, charts and infographics have become more popular than ever. Adobe Illustrator is a great way to design charts using the powerful graph tool. However, this feature does have issues and difficulties, which I will highlight and provide workarounds. Microsoft Excel does offer more options and flexibility in creating charts, and for certain chart types, Illustrator does not offer an option. However, once exported from Excel, the graphic loses its length to the data and is not editable by the Illustrator datasheet. Also, Excel does not feature artboards, and the only viable export file format is PDF. Both are issues that will require further production to make the chart ready for layout. Missing chart types. There are numerous chart types beyond the venerable column or bar, pie, and line or area charts. Most notably, donut charts and the high-low or candlestick or box plots or box and whisker charts are missing. Also unavailable are more scientific or esoteric charts such as heat maps, alluvial or stream or sand key diagrams, chord diagrams, coxcomb or nightingale rose charts, node link diagrams, radial bar charts, tree maps, bubble charts, radar or spider graph, and the popular Venn diagrams. These can be created in Illustrator, just not using the graph tool's default settings. Tree maps and high-low charts can be created in Excel and then edited in Illustrator. Illustrator graph tool. Tips. If we hold down the Alt or Option key, and click on the graph tool icon, we'll cycle through the different chart types. Also notice this label down here as I cycle through, it lists the tool that will be selected. Pie chart bubbles. One can easily create a series of bubbles based on a set of values. Here we have a pie chart. I'll select and right click. And we'll transpose. And we end up with accurately sized bubbles. This is tricky because scaling is not a function of the diameter or the radius. So this is a foolproof way to make it work. Combining charts and dual axes. Here we have a series of columns. One of them clearly is a summary of the other four. And we're going to create a dual chart and have the summary show up as a line. So we'll select the category with the group selection tool. Click once, twice, and three times and make sure that the category legend is selected. Double click the graph tool icon and let's have the axes of the line chart be on the right. Click OK and notice that we have two axes 0 to 10 and 10 to 30 but this really doesn't look like a summary. If you wanted to have all of this plotted on just one axis, we'll again select and double click graph icon. And let's move this to the left side. Now we get a truly representative chart where the line is clearly a summary of the four quarters and the axes has been changed and combined. High-low or candlestick charts. High-low charts can be one, copied, pasted, and edited from Excel. 
two, illustrated by hand, or three, built with a set of three superimposed charts. I recommend option number one, copy, paste, and edit from Excel. Illustrator Graph Tools Gotchas Transforming an object in Illustrator. This is one of the major gotchas. So if we select our chart, notice that in the Properties panel, there is no transformation information. It literally does not recognize this object. Also, the Free Transform tool doesn't recognize the chart object either. We can move with the arrow keys and also we can use the transform commands or transform tool to move scale or rotate the chart. Double click the scale tool and that seems to be working. Great. If you need to align, the align commands don't work either. Notice that they're not displayed on top here and these options won't work. Use guides or a placeholder object to align a chart. Also, transform again doesn't work either. So we can demo that. So I'll scale this, let's say, okay, so we have a bigger marker and let's notice that it moved the marker. It is no longer on the high-low path. Okay, the final gotchas. Working with the graph object, one could edit or format data text, text here, text here, but the formatting will revert next time an edit is made to the data sheet. So I'll demonstrate. We'll select, let's make an edit. Put a dollar sign just on the first value. Selection tool, click, right click, data, And let's change this point to 15. OK, so notice the point moves. The dollar sign disappears. That will only last until the next edit to the data sheet. Moving is OK. So let's say we thought that this is a little too close to this axis. So we'll select the text. And with the down shift down arrow, we'll move this down a little bit. OK, back to the selection tool, we'll click on the graph object, and let's change this back to 12. OK, notice this went back, and this remained. It's persistent. So moving seems to be OK. Again, this tool is a little bit finicky. Object color is sticky. So we'll select this series. Let's pick a nice color. And we'll do this for a couple of them. OK, so we'll select our graph. Let's change this back to 15. OK, this moves back and the colors persist. The graph tool can be, as an entity, can be moved or rotated as a whole, scaled as well. But that doesn't apply to, it applies to moving these text objects, but not to rotating. So that's a very common thing to rotate the uh, category dates. So let's try that. So. We rotate it at 90 degrees, click OK, and let's select our graph object, make this 12 again, and notice it went 
back down and the text returned to its former place. How to rotate text in an Illustrator graph would be to move the color and use either point or paragraph text to rotate your values. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use the Adobe Illustrator Graph Tool. This has been Eugene Peterson for Noble Desktop.